Hi friends, this is 74 year old male with a large infected cyst on his back which needs instant drainage and local anesthesia. Patient is already on OD table and is a part already painted to betadine solution and draped. Now I am just going to give local anesthesia for a field block. I usually use 2% lignocaine with adenaline for local anesthesia. Here just watch how I am giving local anesthesia. I usually uh, give local anesthesia in the subcutaneous plane with proper infiltration is very essential for a complete field block or else patient will scream with pain while you are doing the procedure. If your field block is good you can do this procedure comfortably without any pain to the patient and it is very essential step in this procedure. Just watch how I am giving this local anesthesia around the swelling. Usually 15 to 20 centimeters uh, ml of lignocaine is, is good enough for a good field block. After giving local anesthesia I just wait for 2 to 3 minutes thereafter I am just checking for the effect of the anesthesia before starting the procedure. Now with a number 11 blade I just give a star incision at the most fluctuating point of the swelling. Just see I am giving a incision and the pus is just coming out from that small opening. Just by gentle pressure the pus is popping out. It is in pressure inside the cavity and this pus has to be drained. With just gradually increasing the pressure, the pus is just coming out, cleaning with the gauze piece. Again, with the fresh gauze piece, I'm just giving gentle pressure, and yeah, more pus is coming out, it's popping out. There's a big cavity, infected cavity. So, when there is decompression, there is pus along with small blood is coming out still most of is there inside now I just give a little bit in increase in the incision size so that the proper damage to be done and here I just opening the mouth with the artery forceps so that drainage can be facilitated see more blood is coming out because the cavity is inflamed the wall is inflamed now I'll be putting my little finger inside to see whether any in the residual pus is there inside or not to see to break any loculis now see whatever the stool is there it is coming out with mixed with blood I always use a curate in this type of cases I just scrap the inflamed wall I scrap the wall so that it comes out so that to prevent recurrence as the wall is inflamed so more blood is just coming out from the wall just putting a gauze piece inside the cavity to scrap it out all the remnants now this pack just I want to remove now see there is no more bleeding we already stopped now it is time for packing I usually use a betadine so gauze piece to pack the cavity and the cavity pack I usually remove up to 24 hours this patient needs antibiotics coverage daily dressing and if diabetic diabetes to be controlled for proper healing of the wound see this big Gauze is already inside the cavity because I'm showing that cavity size. And now this is the final dressing. Thanks for watching.